Howdy, Jada Gamer here, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Now, this time in Scrap Mechanic, I have made a completely new house. Yeah. So it's pretty majestic. I have I have doors like that, which is pretty sweet, and I have an elevator too. Just open the door. And this controls the no pistons that go up. You can go to the top floor. Or you can go to the second floor. But yeah, this is what I've been doing for the last couple days. I honestly think it's pretty majestic. I like this house. Want to see something even more awesome? This is the top landing where you can work on air airplanes and helicopters and stuff but the best part yeah a freaking helipad that goes up into or onto the roof isn't that amazing guys I'm gonna put another helipad over there and I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with the rest of the room I might make like, like a I might make like a hangar opening somewhere so that I can have a spot to launch airplanes specifically. But this is mainly for helicopters and I think this is awesome so far. And I have a lot of different buttons for it, like there's one up here as well. And I cannot tell you how many designs I've gone through with these stupid freaking doors. <laughs> a lot of my designs were like too big. So it was both too heavy and sometimes the doors would like glitch through blocks. Yeah. Not my best designing work there, but whatever, man, I got it down. And it is a pretty good product. But yeah, that's basically my house so far. And I haven't shown you all of it, but Let's go, let's go back down to the bottom floor, open up the door, and um, let's take a look over here. So this is my deck area, and as you can see I have those sliding doors, it's freaking awesome. This is my deck area, have a nice little view, I guess, from right here, and I have a pool. Yeah. It sucks that there's no, like, water physics, but hey. Even though it acts like wood, it looks like water. <laughs> so it's pretty awesome. Anyways, this isn't finished yet either. I might, like, put, like, a table out here or something. Have, like, a nice grill-like setup. And, um, over here isn't really anything special. This is just a door to the back. You know, just a little back spot. I mainly had that door for when I was working on the elevator. Because this is the elevator shaft. Anyways, onward. So, the next thing is the, is the basement area. Which, this isn't finished yet at all. In fact, I think I might extend it out to where the deck ends. I think that might be better. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have an underground. So, yeah, I might put, like, a garage or something here. Maybe, like, right here would work. So I could extend it, like, out to, out to possibly here where the pool ends. And I could put a garage door in and all that cool stuff. And, I mean, look at this driveway. It's not the smoothest, it's not the straightest, but it's awesome. Yeah. This house I went with a completely different design approach. And I don't mean like I'm not using, s and I don't mean like I'm not using squares. This house is obviously a rectangle, but this time, instead of using natural formations of the land in, s in the scrap mechanic map, I have found a small valley and I've paved over it with green to make it look like grass 
and um, yeah, just plopped a house on top of it. Well, not exactly. I built a house on top of it, but you guys know what I mean. So this will be the main, like, living area, if you will. I'll have like a bedroom somewhere, have a living room, kitchen, bathroom, all that cool stuff. And this place is freaking huge. I mean, let me just get into this corner right over here. Yeah. I would get a headache from counting all those blocks. I think that's like 200 blocks. And this is easily 50. So yeah, I have plenty of space to do whatever the hell I want. And honestly, I like the front door the best. Because you stand right here. And it just goes like that. You just walk straight through. You don't even have to push any buttons like all my other doors. That is what I'm going to do though. I'm going to I'm gonna put sensors on all my doors. So that you can just plain walk through instead of press, having to press a bunch of buttons. Um, I also have a door over here. This one's a little bit harder to see because I don't have a window in it yet. But, yeah. Other than what's ha gonna happen to it in the future, this is my house so far. I honestly think it's pretty majestic. I especially love this elevator door. I mean, that's, that's just majestic. I mean, come on. You guys probably don't know what house I based most of this off of, but um, I'll show you that in the next house in the next episode. Yeah, basically the house that I based it off of was this huge house that was basically a tower, and um, I think it was like five stories maybe. And, um, it was, um, basically a tower, but it had a lot of these ideas as well. The sliding doors, though, that, that's a new idea. I, I, I thought of that. I don't know if any other YouTuber has done it, but I thought of that for my house. That is a completely original idea. Which is awesome about my houses, because every single house has another idea tacked onto it. That pool. That pool right there. That's a new idea. Oh, and I also forgot. The fact of going into the ground. That's a new idea. Building over a chasm so that I can go downwards. Which was an awesome advantage, so that I can have that in-ground pool. Which is... Majestic. Yeah, I painted a big yellow H on this just to signify that this is a helipad. Yeah, basically the problem with these doors was that they were too damn big, so they were like really, really heavy, and the the uh, bearings—that's what they're called, right? I think they're called bearings. Let's see. Bearings, 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 bearings. It is a bearing. Alright. So the bearings actually could not handle the weight. And so after a lot of rebuilding the doors, cutting off certain sections, well actually adding sections to the main thing, to the main glass. Yeah, this is all glass, by the way if you couldn't tell. Adding more to the main glass, I should probably add another row there. I was finally able to perfect it. So not only do the doors work perfectly, but one, they also work controlled. Like, one of the problems with one of the older models was that it, um, it was so heavy that even though the bearings could stand the weight, 
they couldn't control it. And that's the one that, well, that's one of them that kept glitching out so much because of the fact that they were so heavy that they just went plonk. But with these doors, slow descent. Slow, calm, orderly descent. Sometimes opening the doors can, like, separate them a little bit, but that's fine. I mean, it's four different doors. You can't expect them to be exactly aligned. But yeah, that was my problem with a lot of the other models, is that it just plain did not work. <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, I need you to make a decision. Should I make this the hangar part? I could like possibly wall this off and make a big airplane hangar. Like there could be a door on this side or a door on this side or both. And um, that's where you could build airplanes so that they could fly out. Because I'm not sure what to do with this space. Because the bottom floor is um, is the living area. The second floor, which is the floor I'm on right now, is the aerial craft area. Oh, and the basement is um, like for cars and stuff. I might put a couple boxes down there for, you know, decoration. Also make it like a garage storage thing. But I'm not sure if this should be a hangar. Or, I don't know, I could install another helipad or... I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure what to do with this space. I keep pressing the wrong button. Ugh. But yeah, that basically catches you guys up on... Miss Scrap Mechanic. So how have you guys been doing? Guys doing okay? That's good. I couldn't hear your reaction, but I think it was okay. Oh, nope. I, I think I'm hearing some negatives. Stop thinking negatively. They only have a negative impact on your life. If you're wondering, and I highly doubt you're not, what I'm doing right now is, um, I'm evening all this out so that it, it just looks nicer. And let's see, any gaps? Nope, just a nice solid square. Um, I mean, it's probably a rectangle because almost nothing's perfectly square these days. <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> uh, nerd jokes. Let's see, where are those mini ramps? Those little, those little ramplet things? What's this? Raft shark mount. Okay. Is there any other animal mounts? <laughs> That's just weird. Hey, that could work as a ramp. <laughs> Wait, that's not a bracket, that's an arrow. Get your names right. That's a perth. What is it with you and not knowing what a bracket is? This is an arrow. This is a parenthesis. That is a bracket. <laughs> What? Am I getting these correct? I mean, what? <laughs> okay, I don't even know what a stroke is. That's a colon. Good, they got that correct. A U-E. See, I never really understood those symbols above certain letters, like for certain languages. I mean, mostly English, but like translations from other languages to this language to our language sometimes having like dots over e's or i's or u's or not i's but 
use wise less doof longer slider visible slider block modded piston block not found block not found uh there we go there's the little things I was looking for these little wedges because you know what they are good for making it look good oh I also need corner pieces where are my corner pieces my corner pieces come on where are they there's a corner thank you Wait, what's that inverted corner that's just weird so have you guys built anything interesting recently <laughs> it's funny scrap mechanic is a game about like building cars and just overall inventions yeah what I do at that time is I build houses like literally I think I think of my like 200 or so hours of playing scrap mechanic about 90 percent of that has been spent on like building cars or not cars houses because the way I see it is that I need a base of operations before I can settle down and do stuff but of course I like switch bases like every 10 minutes I've never actually gotten a house done like completely 100% what I wanted done isn't that scary well I mean it's not scary but whatever <laughs> anyways I'd imagine that this is getting pretty boring for you so I'll just let you go so this has been an update of what I've been doing in scrap mechanic because I have not posted any videos on it for quite a while I think the last one was like a month or two ago yeah so that was just a quick little update see what I'm doing the next episode episode of scrap mechanic will um, show you that house that I was talking about and it'll probably I'll probably like try to build something and I mean something other than like a than like a house I might try to build like a car helicopter plane something like that and I'll use my new house for that so I'll like build it on the helipad do all that stuff and um yeah about the other side of the room leave it in the comments what you um think I should do with that because as I said I'm torn on what to do with it so the people must speak what am I stuck on visible blocks <laughs> so the people must speak otherwise the creator known as me doth not know what to do because <laughs> sometimes I get lost sometimes don't judge me you guys try to do YouTube okay you probably think it's easy whatever sometimes I just run out of ideas don't judge me <laughs> and that's why I turn to you guys I mean you guys are fresh full of ideas just lay some on me I'll probably I'll probably do them clink 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 Clink, clank. <laughs> Wait, I think I just accidentally attached them to the thing itself. Yup. Nope. Ah, that's why you always have to raise it. That's the funny thing about Scrap Mechanic. It's really dumb about trying to process what's attached to what. 
And that's like the only thing that I don't really like about Scrap Mechanic. Is it's both like unreliable. Uh, unreliability and its glitchiness like when I was working working with the doors I I think I went through like five different models just because the door glitched through the ground or glitched through the floor I mean that sucks man uh, scrap mechanic problems. Shane Cam Five or Awesome Gaming. If if you're watching, you'll you'll know exactly what I mean. Of course, you haven't built as many houses as I, but you have built some stuff. You have built like doors and actually, you did build your own house at some point. And I'm pretty sure you've built houses in your own world. But um, yeah, isn't that annoying? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's even more annoying with like cars and stuff because you like build your new Porsche model or whatever and then one tiny miscalculation like one little block a pixel out of place and then it suddenly doesn't work and you can't move that block because you know the game has to place it in a certain spot Otherwise, the game will think, "Ah, oh, you cheated!" Annoying. And I'm probably going getting very annoying right now too. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Sometimes I just drone on and on and on and on and on. I guess this is why some YouTubers get s or write scripts. You know, I never really thought of doing that. I mean, why would you do that? I mean, sure, sometimes I get a little tongue-tied and, like, not exactly know what to say, so I'm just quiet for a couple minutes, but... Hey, that's real, man! Just reading a script? that That's boring. I mean... Okay, that's a bad argument, because this is probably very boring for viewers, but... Still... It's more fun for the YouTuber, in my opinion, if they get to if they get to say what they think right when they say it. Wrong button. But that's just my opinion. I mean, other YouTubers they can do with whatever they want, but I I don't use scripts. I'm not going to use a script. And this looks pretty flesh. Of course, I'm going to paint that a different color. Probably like black like the helipad is. But, um... Yeah, anyways, I've been talking for way too long. I'm sorry about that. I just won't shut up sometimes. <laughs> oh, and also, for those of you who liked the majestic story that I did a couple months back... Another one of those is coming out. Yeah. I, I, I'm i pretty sure that you guys are f thrilled. Freaking thrilled to hear that. <laughs> Yo, the video will get 10 million views. No, 10 trillion views. <sighs> Alright, everybody be honest for a second. Like, write it in the comment section if you actually think this. Was the story good? Speak the truth, man. I can take it. It's YouTube. Not... Not make everybody feel happy. <laughs> uh, bad choice of words. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not very good at storytelling, so I just want the feedback, man. That was one of the first actual stories that I've ever done. I mean, I mean, like stories that I haven't like had to write down, uh, hadn't had to write down for like literature class or something. That's what I love doing, though. It's just, it's just so funny to sit there and then 
just come up with completely random stuff and just say it. I mean, like, I remember some of my story. It was, like, about me transforming into a bunch of stuff by just coming into sync, into, um, small contact with them by any means necessary. Oh, and I remember my friend being a ch cheese sandwich for a while. <laughs> Honestly, that that was one of my best. That was one of my best or favorite parts. But I think my favorite part was the part where the pigeons just came out of nowhere and started eating the cheese sandwich, <laughs> or cheese sandwich.